Hello friends and welcome to a Popper special. Uh, today we're going to be starting with Burn, but uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, we've got a lot more coming ahead of that. And if you're watching this on YouTube, then look forward to the next couple days because there's a lot of Popper content in your future. All right, so this is the first deck we're playing, Burn. A uh, very classic deck in uh, many formats and a uh, very strong option. And while this deck was quite good before, it just got an absolute bomb with Monastery Swift Spear. That's why we're here today, to be playing the Swift Spear. And uh, this just seems like the most obvious place to put it. Uh, let's take out the Voldaren Epicure, slot in Swift Spear in that, in that spot, leave the rest of the deck as is, and get into some games. Yeah, one day ago with Boros Bully. Opponent is mulliganing heavily here, down to four cards. Our plan so far is to go turn one Swift Spear, turn two Swift Spear, suspend Rithbolt. Basic Forest Go. Maybe Ponza? Basic Swamp Go. Jund, maybe? Okay, so they know what we're doing, we don't know what they're doing, and they can see to hide that information. Hmm, I'm thinking if they are a, a Jund deck, then I think we already have a fairly good matchup. I, I don't think we really need to do anything. Uh, Lava Runner is probably a liability. I think we'll just resubmit as is. Hey, Dracuz. Yep, starting early because we got a lot of content to get through today. I want to do at least three leagues today. We're going to be doing Burn, Madness, and Hot Dogs. And if we have time, Sactos. Niyotagawa, hello, hello. Happy to see that uh, people are getting the message, showing up early. Love to see it. We got another turn one Swiss beer hand. Let's keep it. Disable the notifications, just saw that I was online. Love it. All right, we're both starting at seven this time. Yeah, we're going to be uh, playing the uh, the bad guy for, for the day here. We're going to be trying to get Monastery Swift Spear banned first day. <laughs> Do a good deed for this format. Band indestructible lands, please. There's um a uh how, how do I want to describe this? There's a perception that that is off the table. 
Um, we don't know. I mean, I don't know because I'm not a member of the Popper Format panel, but a lot of people uh, are saying that there are some cards that are off the table. Um, so, for example, uh, it's generally believed that the Tron lands are off the table for bans. You cannot ban the Tron lands, and uh, people are starting to say that about the bridges as well, that uh, the powers that be want to keep the bridges in the format, but, you know, we'll see. Things change. Um, but the, uh, the artifact lands, for now, are still here. Well, you know, um, maybe one day we'll get lucky, things will change, but for now, yeah, we're just going to uh, take the format as it is. I uh, definitely believe that, like personally, I want to see how the format shakes out. Now that we've got these new downgrades, specifically Swift Spear, I want to see how Affinity um, deals with the aggro meta. We're going to be seeing a lot more burn decks, a lot more madness decks, a lot more hot dogs. And I believe that all three of those decks have decent matchups against Affinity. I wouldn't say great matchups, but definitely decent. Now, we are waiting here for quite a while. I wonder what's going on with our opponent. I mean, I understand that the first game would be very frustrating, but you have a seven-card hand here. Let, let's go. Seen Snap Bolt <laughs> trying the same thing earlier, want spoilers, Kappa. I think that Kappa kind of says it all. But no, go ahead. Um, if you were hanging out with uh, Max's stream earlier, I missed it. Um, what, what, are the, uh, what are the points? Oh, here we go. Okay, let's play some Magic. What, it's legal now? Yeah, it is. We got Swift Spear. Same same start as before. Exact same start. Forest Swamp. Maybe they have cast down this time. Snuff out. Okay. That's a lot of life to pay. It's actually more life to play snuff out than I was going to deal in damage, but uh, yeah, absolutely. Go to nine, and I have two fire blasts in hand and two mountains, like to be able to cast them both. We just need one more spell, and for them not to have uh, weather. Oh, cool. Proliferate. Neato. Uh, do you check the initiative cards? Are they working now? I don't think they've been released yet. A very big paper tournament this Sunday. Still don't know what to play. Thankfully, Double Masters won't be legal yet. Yeah, that's true. They won't be legal yet um, in paper. I'm pretty sure you have to... Pretty sure you have to wait for the release for the paper cards, the downgrades, to be available. But, uh... Again, I'm not a member of the Popper Format panel, so don't take my word for it. Rancor shirt. Do you have unexpected fangs? You do. Okay, so I have to kill your creature. Another mountain. Stupid unexpected fangs. They would be dead right now. Although I do really like the stuff going on here. I think it's really cool.
spell. Yeah, okay, you're dead. And that's match one. One land hand, we got the Swift Spear. I'm going for it. This seems like a great hand. If we hit, hit second land, we're laughing. Another forest deck. Ah, we miss on land. Let's just hit him for five then. I mean, it depends on what side of the argument you're on. If you're the one uh, playing mountains, Swift Spear seems pretty great. I wonder if I want to go for the needle drop here. It's less damage, but we potentially hit that land. Sure. Yes, indeed, Swift Spear is legal. No blocks. Gonna go for Needle Drop here. Try and hit that land. How oh, we miss? Okay. Just gotta hope they don't have uh, main deck weather the storm. No weather. Nice. Yeah, that's uh, not really an issue for me. Yeah, GG. We're going on to game two. All the downshifts are legal, yes. And kill with Needle Drop. Let's go. Ooh, Needle Drop drew Fire Blast. This deck is nuts. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, heading back to um, Is It eventually to play um, Curve and uh, Is It Charm. Hey, Brookadeem. Um, I think that it's going to be up to the uh, the pilot all the way. Um, I could definitely understand cutting Curse of the Pierced Heart um, instead of the Epicure. Curse does feel like one of the weaker cards in this list. However, remember, Curse does uh, trigger Prowess. 
So again, I think we don't need to do anything. Um, I don't think we need to side anything in. I think we just keep going with the same deck. <laughs> no land hand this time. We must mull. This one looks great. Swift Spear is just always want to stay in my hand. I would love to see it. Keep this. Get rid of... Uh, I think we get rid of Needle Drop. Although it's pretty close between Needle Drop and Skewer. Needle Drop is just so good here. We get to go turn one Swift Spear, turn two Bolt Drop. We get to play turn two Thermal Alchemist. This is going to be nuts. Hey there, friend. So Lava Runner is in the side because if you're playing against a deck with a lot of blockers, Lava Runner is really bad. But if you're playing against a deck like Tron or um, any deck that isn't going to be presenting a bunch of blockers for you, maybe even the Mirror Match, that's when you want to bring Lava Runner in. This is so bad for them. Yeah, Lava Runner is a much worse Goblin Guide at home. It used to be a main deck card, but Epicure replaced it, and now Swift Spear is just way better. Maybe I needed to count this up, because this could have actually... Maybe I'm missing Lethal here. Another Fire Blast doesn't do anything for us. Uh, so if we Fire Blast, that's 4, 8, 9, not lethal. Shit. Yeah, I did miss lethal here. If I, I think if I had used the Lightning Bolt instead of the Needle Drop, I think that would have actually been the kill. Need to take more time doing the math. Okay, this looks terrible for them. We can even beat a uh, weather the storm now. This deck is nuts! Why is this legal? Why am I allowed to do this? Weather the storm? No problem. This... I'm not a huge fan. I do not like all the lands here, but we have a turn one Swift Spear. I'm gonna keep it. Ah, uh, Swift Spear was uncommon, yes. You can see here, uncommon. How many leagues are you playing today? At least three. We're going to do Burn, Madness, and Hut Dogs. And if I have time, we're also going to do Sectos. There we go. Finally, somebody knows what's up. Although they didn't play turn one Swift Spear, so... Here comes Lightning Bolt. Kill the Swifty. No, Swifty lives. Okay. 
Maybe they're just going for the Searing Blaze. This is so strong for us. Oh my god. We get the Searing Blaze, their Alchemist, and attack with Swifty. We have another Searing Blaze in hand. Please play another creature. Yeah, turn three kills with hot dogs, definitely a thing. I have nothing here, I can just have six. Play a swift spear, play a swift spear, play a swift spear. Epicure's fine. Got a searing blaze, let's go. Down to five. And they scoop. What was our top card? Fire Blast. Damn! When you have a land heavy hand to start and then draw all spells. Ah, uh, so we're playing against Burn. This might be a matchup for Lava Runner. Although it kind of seems like they're playing a creature-heavy version. They have Thermal Alchemist. They have Epicure. Assumedly, they also have Swiss Spear. Could take out the Curse. Bring in the Lava Runner. Okay, this is a much slower hand. I believe this is actually our first hand without a turn one Swift Spear. But we do have Searing Blaze to be able to take care of their Swift Spear. Okay, no turn one Swift Spear for them either. Let's start by suspending this Rift Bolt. Although using Chain Lightning would have also been fine. Well, they don't have the mana to throw it back at us. I just kind of shortcut to casting Rift Bolt, or suspending Rift Bolt, rather, as soon as possible. Another land. Uh, so we could go Alchemist this turn. And then next turn we have another land for Searing Blaze. Alchemist blocks the Epicure just fine. As long as it survives. They could just send this Rift Bolt at it. Okay, so they are going to Rift Bolt the Alchemist. Alchemist saves us three life. Uh, 
I'll, I'll be honest, I don't spend too much time in the O3 bracket. As soon as I go O3, I drop. And generally when I'm playing Burn, even in Modern, I'm winning. So, uh... I don't know, that, that joke doesn't have the same kind of resonance for me as the 3-2 uh, the is the, uh, the Jun Trophy. Because I've definitely been there a lot. But yeah, um, with Swift Spear being downgraded here, I think that Burn is just uh, risen to top tier. Oh shit! Opponent just said they don't even have Swift Spear in the in the in their list. Okay, so we have 9 plus 4, 13. We're off by 1. But we have one extra mana here, so any one mana spell, just about. Uh, Swift Spears would be good. Lightning Bolt, Chain Lightning, basically any one mana spell. Needle Drop. Okay, so opponent is uh, putting us on notice that so we are in danger. Okay, let's get a spell here. Nice! Let's go, Exaxes! Kill with Needle Drop again! GG! Uh, another hand with no Swiss Spear, turn one. Garbage! Garbage! We are still going to keep it. I think we go Curse of the Pierced Heart first. It's harder for an opponent to get rid of. We play Thermal Alchemist, we might get zero value. Because they could just kill it. Thank you, Swifty! Uh, hey, no, there's uh, some really good Demir lists. Uh, take your time, look at Demir, go for it. Uh, you get um, either the the Delver deck or Demir Fairies. Two very good options. Alright, so we don't know if the opponent is on Affinity or Mogwarts, but I would guess one of those two. The Mountain leads me to believe, yeah, it's Mogwarts, so we could actually just be dead next turn. We're probably going to have to keep the Lightning Bolt to keep us alive. Spell, spell, spell. Okay, so how much damage do we have here? Um, they're going to block the Swift Spear, so we have... Uh, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 4 is 9, 10. So yeah, we cannot kill. So we're going to hold up the Lightning Bolt to stop their combo, but I am going to cast the Skewer. Uh, 
I will always yield to the Swiss Spear, but I never auto yield to the Thermal Alchemist trigger. Um, I've made mistakes in the past, and I don't intend on getting caught like that again. Alright, do they block? They absolutely should. If they don't, we have to redo our math. So if they don't block, this would be three, put them to seven, plus another four. Put them to three, two, one. They still survive. Okay, we just do not have lethal, even if they don't block. Will you be trying the list with Voldaren Epicure instead of Thermal Alchemist? No. Uh, unfortunately, don't have time to go through... Um, a bunch of small iterations of each deck. I want to try and do three different decks today. So we're probably just going to do one league with each one, unless, you know, we owe three and then I'll uh, start over. That would be a horse of a different color. Can auto yield to that. Just can't auto yield to this one. And I mean, honestly, Thermal Alchemist is one of the best cards in Popper Burn. I am not cutting this card. I would cut Curse over Thermal Alchemist 100%. Alright, so they have the mana. They have six cards in hand. We know they have at least one piece of the combo. There's the Putrid Goblin. Sacrifice Putrid Goblin, first day of class. And then I kill Putrid Goblin with a first day of class trigger on the stack. Okay, so they have the combo. Good thing we kept this Lightning Bolt, huh? Oh crap, do they have Unearth? Good one. Good one. Damn it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to hit zero here. And if they have the combo, they win. We only had one piece of interaction. I'm just waiting to see a, uh, a win con here. If they show show me a win con, I'm going to concede. If you're going for the clock, if you're trying to win that way, two cards on the bottom, then um, this is definitely one deck where you can win through, uh, through the clock. There's so many clicks in this deck. But I'm trying to get through some leagues quickly here. I'm not about that today. Okay, Goblin Matron, that finishes it. We just want to make sure they get the right thing. Don't misclick. Yeah. Good game. Alright, so we're going to be playing the control deck this time. We're going to bring in Martyr of Ashes and Electricery. Uh, what do we take out? Probably curse.
So, uh, Mogwarts served us up our very first loss. We're in, uh... Is something going on with MTG bot here? This should be, like, what? Match four. But it kind of looks like I just have one up on there. Weird. Well, there was an update, so it does kind of make sense if MTG bot is a little bit broken. We only have one land, but we have Swiss Spear. We have Martyr of Ashes. I'm going to risk it. One land was enough with uh, Swift Spear before. We do have a lot of one drops here to back it up. Turn one Swift Spear, just about the best thing you can do in Popper right now. Come on, land. We are so good at this game. Could do nine damage, or we could curse. Could play the Martyr of Ashes and the Spike. Then we can hold up Martyr. I don't think we need the Martyr yet, but we're going to need it soon. I mean, playing the curse now does get us the highest value out of the curse. And we can always just um, spike bolt next turn for huge damage. Yeah, I think this is the right way to go. We just get the most damage out of curse this way. And they cannot win next turn. I kind of want to leave this land in hand so we have access to Searing Blaze. On the other hand, we could just play the Martyr of Ashes this turn. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use all my mana. Because they cannot kill us next turn, we're just going to uh, do as much damage as we can here, set up the Martyr of Ashes, and uh, yeah, just keep them under extreme pressure. Thanks for the follow, friend. Yeah, I mean, we could... I, I don't think there's any reason to keep Bolt in this uh, instance. Just get the, uh, the maximum damage in. Put him to six. Well, I think the uh, the real thing here is going to be Martyr of Ashes. Oh, no, they have Weather the Storm for a bunch. That's going to buy them a lot of time. Back up to 19. No, oh, this is a, the type of game where Curse does a lot of damage. See, and that's why I wanted Skullcrack. I would have been happy with Skullcrack instead of Swiss Spear. But we got the better of the two, honestly. Lava Spike. Sure. So they gain 12 and they're at 11, but they do potentially have the, uh, oh no, the duress. That's brutal. Yep. Now we don't have a red card in hand for the Martyr of Ashes anymore, so shields are down, but they don't have enough mana to kill us.
Weather of the Storm and Mogwarts. Wow. Ooh, makeshift munitions. Kill the Martyr of Ashes if you like. Get a Fire Blast. That's a lot of damage. Alright, so that would be six, seven. I think it's better just to keep the Fire Blast in hand here. We can use it to uh, stop ourselves from dying. Wow, opponent has a ton of cards in hand right now. Goblin Matron. Is there any black spell for BB that drains two to any target? I don't think there's one for any target. Uh, there are ones that hit creatures you gain life. So this is seven. Oh, we put them to one. Damn it. So if I just attack with Swift Spear, no action, then I could deal them seven, then that's the kill. Okay, yeah, they're too smart. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I don't think there was any real reason to cast that. Like, opponent's not going to deal themselves any damage. Okay, GG. Mogwarts wins. Good games. No trophy with burn. Ah, uh, yeah, we definitely keep this. Turn one Swift Spear. Oh, okay, we're playing against someone who knows what's up. Playing against burn again. Nice mountain. Not a fan of white borders, but uh, definitely a fan of Johnny Vaughn Mountains. All right, where does this go? Face is the place. Okay, Searing Blaze on the Swift Spear. It's pretty good for them. We only get one damage out of Swifty. And we get another Swift Spear off the top. Let's go. I'm 
going to be so much damage next turn if we draw a mountain. 9, 12, 16, plus Swift Spear, if we draw a mountain. So if we draw a mountain, this is lethal. Mountain on top. Mountain on top. Mountain on top! Oh, maybe they're thinking about fire blasting? Well, too late now. Swift Spear attacks for six on turn three. Turn three kill with burn. Okay, we bring in Lava Runners, take out Curse. I think that's what we did last time. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do it. We have one land, we have a Swift Spear, we're on the draw. Everything costs one mana except for Fire Blast, we're keeping this. Is this finally going to be the time where we meet our match with turn one Swiss Spear? Nope. Opponent does not have the turn one Swift Spear. Looking for Mountain on top. Oh, cool. Thunderous Wrath. That is not something you see very often. One mana, five damage, one card. That turned the tables. Mountain. Okay. We're still in it. Uh, so, let's see here. Do we Rift Bolt? Like, we're probably just dead anyway. I just want to check out some math here. So we could go... Rift Bolt Spike, do 5. And then next turn we have Spike Bolt Fire Blast. So that's 10. Yeah, I think we go Spike Rift Bolt this turn, and then next turn Spike Bolt Fire Blast. Hey, are we dead? Could easily be dead here. Um, what do you got, opponent? Two one mana spells, one mana spell plus fire blast. Oh, they go for the searing blaze. Oh no, that's a lightning bolt on my creature. Oh, yeah, okay. That keeps you in the game, I think. Uh, yeah, we have 10 damage. Put them to 1. I guess we could Needle Drop into a land here for lethal. Come on, Mountain. Ah, oh, Swift Spear. So we don't have lethal. 
I think the best thing is just play Swift Spear Attack. It would have been so cool if we had hit that mountain there. Needle Drop, get us another kill. That would have been amazing. Because Needle Drop is already, like, legit got us two kills. Oh, yeah, you're both right. No point, no reason to attack. Not that it makes much of a difference anyways. These Thunderous Wrath, wow, so much damage. And Flame Rift? That is madness. Oh, I feel so bad. Ah. Oh. If we had cast the Lightning Bolt, we could have had a draw. Oh, well. Um, yep. Okay, but we know they're playing Flame Rift. That gives us an advantage. We should have the advantage in this game. Playing Flame Rift versus Burn. Imagine that. Oh, man, we're on the play with a one-land hand. And we have Swiss Spear. I don't like this one as a one land hand. We've got a lot of three drops. This hand is super awkward. The only good thing we really have going is Swift Spear turn one. We're going to mulligan this. Ugh, I don't really like this one much more. Too land heavy, but whatever. We're going to keep it, get rid of a mountain. Oh, that's actually so good for us. Now we get to Searing Blaze turn two. This is the third game, the first time we're seeing Swift Spear from the opponent. Oh, and they don't even attack. Get that damage in. Okay, they kept a one land hand. We get Skewer. Oh, so much damage. Imagine if we had Fire Blast here, they would be dead. Now, they are under quite a bit of pressure here. But we have zero cards left in hand. We do have Lethal, though, so they need to deal with a Swift Spear. Okay, so they do, but we're still at 20 life. Suspends Rift Bolt. And Lava Spikes our face. Four cards in hand for the opponent. Okay, we Rift Bolt them to two. And what do we get on top? Thermal Alchemist. Not the card we were looking for. One of our worst draws. Four cards in hand, three lands. We are under quite a bit of threat here. And we get it. Four, one with Swift Spear Burn. We did it.
And we finished a league in an hour. 4-1. That's profit. All right, so this is the deck that we were playing today. The, uh, the new burn deck with Monastery Swift Spear. And I just got to say, wow, is this noticeably better than previous iterations of burn. Um, we only switched out one card, but it is a doozy. Um, we managed to get turn one Swift Spear a bunch of times, and that was obviously just insane. But even, you know, like, Swift Spear has haste, so the turn two Swift Spears, the turn three Swift Spears, the turn four Swift Spears were almost just as good as the turn one. So, um, uh, I gotta say, Swift Spear Burn, you are here to stay.